Hey everybody, so I wanted to show you it's been two months and this is what our gardens look like. Everything's looking so good. I'm so excited. So I'm going to show you how tall our potatoes are. So as you can see, we got some good growing potatoes. I'm gonna show you the rest of our garden here. So we added some compost. I know my husband sprinkled some around all the vegetables. So I think it helped. And I'd like to test the soil because I think we have too much nitrogen in the soil. Our spuds have, um, they have scabs on them. And that happened last year. And I was hoping, I was so hoping that this year that wasn't gonna happen, but it looks like it did. So we're gonna have to do something this fall to change that i think we're gonna lay cardboard and that should lower the levels of the nitrogen but yeah anyways i'm gonna show you the rest now so these are our beans they are coming along nicely pretty soon i'll be in the kitchen freezing and canning <laughs> Our carrots, so we had a bit of an issue here. We planted them, it didn't rain for the longest time. And so we tilled it and then reseeded and put gunny sacks over top to retain the moisture and water them like crazy. So they are a little bit slow this year just because we planted them so late, but they're coming along. Look at our tomatoes. We've been picking off of there. They, uh, we started them in the house, but there wasn't enough moisture in the soil, so they're splitting. That one's not bad, but... Oh, well, we got some over there. Our dill. One lonely, random dill. Oh, we got some cucumbers here. Look at that. I'm going to pick those. The kids can eat them. Squash. Oh, we got four. And then we got some in here too. It's awesome. So we got this uh, tester. I've never used it before. So uh, let's give it a go. So that makes sense for moisture because Lori just watered and the light, it's full sun here. Okay, so I'm in the other garden and I wanna test in here because this is where the potatoes seem to be the worst. So. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to get rid of scabs on potatoes, comment below, let us know. We'd love to hear if there's any, you know, way to get rid of that. Stay tuned. We'll uh, keep on putting out the videos and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.